Hello everybody, Jim Hickey with BassFishingTipsAndTactics.com uh, also known as Bass Fishing Tips on Twitter. Uh, making this quick little video in order to introduce you to the sample pack that's available from Bass Assault Lures, which uh, many of you on Twitter saw me chat about the fact that I had ordered it several days ago, was anxiously awaiting it, and it finally arrived yesterday. And this little uh, sample pack, or a set of five lures that Bass Assault uh, puts together in order to introduce you to the quality of their baits. And it includes a buzz bait, a spinner bait, and three other jigs. And they're the home of the quad gator jig, I guess a jig that was made uh, pretty famous down south that uh, was available for a while and not so available, and now they're producing it, and it's commonly available. So what do we get? Well, let's start with the buzz bait. And the buzz bait that I got is, whoops, let me put this over here, make sure I get it in the camera, is uh, a 3 8 ounce version. Uh, it actually comes standard in the kit. That's correct. And this is the Red Bug single blade, black blade. Uh, one of the cool things about Bass Assault is that they uh, give you different options for, you know, some of these things you can uh, order as you're putting these things together. Uh, I did check out to make sure the blade turns freely and it, it does indeed do that. Uh, it's a pretty light wire, which is actually something I like. Um, even though they will get bent up when you uh, actually catch a fish, I don't care because they, you know, tend to straighten out pretty quickly, run through, uh, and that light wire oftentimes gives it a little more vibration and a different sound. Now, I don't know if you can really hear the that blade turning, but there's a few things I'll do to this later to tweak it up on up uh, and make it a little better. But anyway. Next thing is their, uh, let's see here, it's the Pro, I think, the Pro Series Spinnerbait. And they make two different series of spinnerbaits. And, and basically the difference is, from what I can tell, same sizes, you get to vary the blades between willow leaves and, you know, a tandem with a Colorado and a willow or two willows or an Indiana blade or double Colorados. Uh, but the difference between this and the other uh, series is basically here you'll notice that the skirt has a short section and a long section. Uh, where the other one is just kind of even straight across. And uh, so this kind of emulates some sort of trailer effect, gives it a little longer, bigger uh, 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 profile, if you will. And uh, it should be interesting because most of the, the spinner, actually virtually, virtually all the spinner baits I own uh, are the conventional type with a skirt, both the upper side and the lower side hang at the same level. So this should be pretty interesting. And again, one of the really cool things here is you can uh, vary the blades between different colors, uh, gold, chrome, I think, uh, maybe copper and different painted versions like white and chartreuse. So again, the you know, options they give you in different sizes. Okay, what do we have next? Well, now we get into the three jigs, and I guess the, the main one would be the crawgator. And here's the crawgator jig here. Uh, it has a, I don't know if this will come through on this, this, this is being done on my webcam, so I don't know how well this will come through. Maybe if I put it up real close. They have a real cool head design. Um, like the way that the eye is kind of molded right into the top. And the way this thing sits, if I can get this to show right, there we go, maybe. Uh, it sits with a hook up. Oops, let me get this over further. There we go. Um, which is a really cool design. So if you've got some sort of uh, trailer on here, like a crawfish, uh, you know, that's going to be sticking up at the, in the fish's face in kind of a fighting position and uh, will be real enticing to the fish. So that should be really cool. Uh, I really like this jig. Got a nice stout hook, nice, uh, you know, not too heavy, but fairly heavy weed guard. And of course, I can play with that to make it to fit my own style. This is, I believe, a 7 16 referred to as Mean Green Quadrator. And I really like this one. Um, and they make this in a variety of sizes, I think starting at 5 16 of an ounce and going up. So you can. Uh, use it in various applications. Uh, you know, you can pitch it, flip it, swim it, um, pop it on the bottom, drag it on the bottom. You know, it's, it's kind of a multi-purpose jig. I really like that. Now, they have a smaller version of this, which let me get the name right here. And this is the Gator Pup. Again, finesse jig. And let me get my hand up here, see if I can get it positioned correctly. And again, it has the same type of head, so it's going to stand up with the hook showing uh, straight up. Uh, the difference here is it comes in the same sizes. The head's a little smaller than the than the quadrator, from what I can tell, and also uh, it's a smaller size jig. I think this is a five sixteenths. Uh, this is in the black and blue variety. But you'll also notice that the way it's tied, where it's got the 
uh, flared skirt out at the front and then a shorter skirt in back. So it's really meant for a more finesse of a presentation. So it's kind of cool, different. Um, be interesting to try that out in the future. And then the last item that actually comes in the kit is one of their swim jigs. And here's the swim jig. It has a kind of cone-shaped head that would be better for swimming. Again, a nice stout hit, a hook, excuse me. A thinner weed guard, which is kind of key uh, when you're swimming it and you have the fish just attacking it on the swim. So, you know, you've got your trailer out here to, to help it draw them. And you've got less of a bulk to get in the way. And sometimes you're going to fish swim jigs on lighter lines, so I guess that'll help because you'll have less of a weed guard to get through. Again, a nice, sharp, stout hook. So, uh, must add needle point hook. Very cool. And this is the, let's see, I think it's a quarter ounce chartreuse brim swim jig. And, and for me up here, this actually emulates also kind of a yellow perch. Uh, got a little orange in there. So that, that could be a really cool jig uh, here in, in the very sh near future. Now I did order one additional buzzbait because I'm kind of a buzzbait freak and, this, and I'm always in search of what I would call a perfect buzzbait. And this is getting pretty close because of that thin wire design. And this is the uh, I think it's the Golden Shiner, Golden Shad, one of the two, Golden something. But it's emulating a Golden Shiner. It's one of the common bait fishes we have up here in the north of New Hampshire. Uh, so I thought this would be really cool. Um, and I'm real excited to have this. Now the fro most, most frustrating part of this kit, it's February 1st. I'm in New Hampshire. There's anywhere from 12 to 20 plus inches of ice, depending on the pause you look at around here. So it's going to be a while before I can actually get to use this stuff, but you can bet your uh, your booty that, that come ice out, or even when we get close to it, when the ice starts to pull away from the shoreline, and I can get into a, a few ponds that I like to favor in the early spring, I'll be out there throwing these baits. So again, check out Bass Assault Lures at BassAssaultLures.com. Check their... Um, their sample pack, you know, it's like I said, it's a great way to get introduced to several of their baits. Twenty-five dollars worth of baits for fifteen dollars. I mean, how can you go wrong? I'll put a link at the bottom of this uh, video once I get posted. Have a great day, and I'll be back at you later with more bass and tips and other cool information. Have a wonderful day.